Hey everybody, I'm going to do the uh, lower yard walk video. This week hopefully I've got the uh, audio better as well as the uh, video not being so close. I noticed that <laughs> last week I didn't have it zoomed out properly on the 10 millimeter setting. I had it on the 20 I think and I was like everything was looking really close to the camera when I was walking around so hopefully that'll be a little better for you guys to view. All right, let's walk around out here. We harvested off a bunch of squash but we've got plenty getting into production because yesterday we were in the mid 90s and today we're supposed to be around 100 and uh, you can see we've got plenty of squash growing I mean it's just everywhere so this week I'm gonna be taking some of this squash the extra like some of these bigger ones that we aren't harvesting and you can see back there look at there's zucchinis we got yellow squash and over here we got more yellow squash and on this one we got some yellow squash you know, we got tons of squash so we're gonna be taking that to or I'll be taking it to work and sharing it with a bunch of the guys that I work with and eggplants doing well we did lose an eggplant back here and it is eating off at the base so I think mr. Uh, rabbit decided to have a little hand in that so we may be seeing Mr. Rabbit disappear from the homestead if he takes out another eggplant. You can see the squash back there. And the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta show you guys. The uh, spaghetti squash is getting huger by the day. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hoping this thing can hang on. I mean, that thing has just gotten big. I can't wait to start eating on these guys. There's a tomato plant here. We've been harvesting off a lot of tomatoes the smaller ones, the little cherry tomatoes, as well as the uh, Montesino F1s. You can see that, you know, there's a bunch of them back there that are getting ready to be ripened. Oh, and this is another thing that I built, you know, last weekend when it was getting hot in the evening, I decided, you know, I didn't want to go sit on the deck or anything. So I built this nice little uh, trellis to walk under out of scrap material I had, a couple of two by twos. This is actually PEX tubing that you use for uh, your house when you're Putting it in new plumbing instead of using like copper pipe or cast iron pipe, you use this PEX tubing. And so I got some of this PEX tubing laying around when from our remodel a while a couple of years back. And then this is that same scrap fencing material. And I just made myself a little uh, tomato hutch to go walk underneath here. Or trellis, I don't know what you want to call this. But you know, the tomatoes are gonna be able to now, as they're getting bigger, they're gonna go over the top. And then these top one are gonna go over the top of the trellis here and go this way so that way they'll kind of have a nice little tomato arch I guess you can call that a tomato arch that'd be a good name but you can see there's some more Montesinos there ready to eat I came I usually come through and eat these while I'm working in the yard Paula told me to knock that off <laughs> you can see the peas are really getting stressed and they're pretty much gonna be at the end of their uh, their season pretty soon because this 90 degree 100 degree weather is just gonna take them out Go over here you'll see in the other video that I'm posting this week we harvested off most of the patty pans and we had those last night for dinner but I don't think there's any more back here to look at but there's a lot of fruit gonna be set soon on these which is always nice because that way I can share the bounty of my yard with my co-workers and you know one of the guys I work with he's getting into gardening now so I figure I'm doing my part. Here's the uh, sweet potato trash can. You can see that it's really, really looking nice. Wildflowers, there's the apples. There's the other sweet potato trash can. It's going well. Everything back there is doing well. You can see the sunflowers. Gotta fill this suet up. Looks like the birds uh, got it all out of there. I've been watching them. None of the big birds are able to get in there anymore, so that's nice. It keeps them from taking away the, uh, the suet from these little guys. Because I've noticed in the really hot weather, they really flock to that suet. So they must be burning a lot of calories with this heat. And we always keep our uh, bird bath over there full. With nice, fresh, clean water. This trellis seems to be doing good. You can see the tomatoes are starting to go over the top there. There's some more ripe ones I can pick off today while I'm out here in the yard. I'm filming this about 11.30 in the morning, and uh, already it's 80 degrees, so 
You can see the peaches up there. This tree it looks like it's really, really flourished since I, uh, I've been doing the compost tea sprains as well as the neem oil. Killed off all those fungal infected uh, leaves. So we've got this tree back, you know, back into full, full vigor. So that way it can get some new growth, keep it healthy. I was gonna let a couple of these tomato vines grow up into the peach tree there, just to see what happens. And this is the new addition. I got in another video last night I filmed that I wanted to get a little closer view. Another little trellis setup that I've uh, set up here with our bamboo that we grow on the homestead. And then these are all the Punakira cucumbers. They're an Indian variety from India. So they'll grow up on this trellis. Put a little fence in to keep the dogs from running through here when they're playing. Didn't want them to wipe out my cucumbers. We got our first cucumbers off here last night. These are the uh, Adam F1 Gherkins. You can see there's going to be some more ready to eat, probably maybe tonight or tomorrow. But, uh, down there you can see the cucumbers. The ones we were eating were about that long, perfect, perfect size for pickling. So we picked those off and ate them. There's some more there. I mean, as you remember last week, these weren't, uh, these were just little tiny guys like that. So within one week, they've gone from that to, you know, here. And then there's some more big ones there. That's another one there that would be ready to eat. These are really a nice one. They don't have that bitter taste or anything, especially when they're fresh. Oh, these are so good. But the, uh, you can see the beans. They're all up here to the top. They're grabbing onto the marigolds, which is fine. Just gonna let them just go wild through there. These are the uh, Monte Cristo beans. They make a nice dry bean as well as a uh, fresh eating bean that Paula makes with the uh, Parmesan cheese in the oven. Just a nice crisp texture, really nice. Well, that's kind of it for the lower yard. Here's another couple of tomato plants. I'm just letting them vine wherever they want to over here. But there's gonna be a lot of production with all the fruit set in here. Man, we are gonna be flush with tomatoes. I cannot wait. That's the best part of the summer is getting these fresh tomatoes. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. I'll do the upper yard video next. All right, bye guys.